Hey, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to the Hybrid Network and our Hellboy discussion for the day. If you've been keeping up with the new Hellboy reboot film, you'll undoubtedly know that Ian McShane is going to be playing Hellboy's adopted father and the founder of the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Development, Professor Trevor Broom. This casting is pretty great in all fairness because I feel like Ian McShane is the perfect guy to capture the fatherly but stern essence Trevor has with Hellboy as a child. And I'm intrigued to see how David Harbour will play off of him, but this makes me wonder about his actual role in the movie. In the first film, Trevor Broom was played by John Hurt, who did an amazing job there too, one of the biggest highlights of that movie. But he suffers roughly the same fate of his counterpart within the comic series, which is to say, he dies by the antagonist's hands. Now, he still had an integral part to play within the first Hellboy movie long after his death. It was his death that gave our hero the drive to stop Rasputin, and his plan to bring about the destruction of the world. In the comic series, it plays roughly the same, where Broom was used as bait to drag Hellboy and his team into their affair at Cavendish Hall and into the arms of Rasputin. So, in both instances, Broom is killed by Rasputin's forces and his plan to awaken Armageddon. Yet, this raises the question for his role in this new reboot. Despite the loss of the subtitle, I think it's safe to say that the new movie is going to be based on the trilogy of comics pitting Hellboy against Nimue, the Queen of Blood. If we're throwing Broom into the mix, well, his role can become any number of things since in the comics he wasn't alive by this point. He had died within the first miniseries after all, so where's the new reboot taking us? It's possible that he's there simply to die again and give Hellboy a reason to continue going on, but I think it could go a little deeper than that. You see, Broom represents something integral for our horn-sprouting hero. He represents his human side in nature. All sorts of mystical beasts are pondering at the lengths Hellboy's compassion can go, baffled at the idea that the Harbinger of Ragnarok is so determined to protect a world that he's not even from. Broom is the man that took the boy under his wing and treated him like he would any other human being. He was instrumental in having the whole world accept Hellboy for who he is and having him join our society. It's a classic argument of nature versus nurture, and the whole juxtaposition of Hellboy's fiery appearance to his calm and somewhat tired nature is key with Broom being present. I think more than anything, he might be present to keep Hellboy tethered to reality. In the Wild Hunt and Darkness Call storylines, Hellboy finds himself becoming increasingly more aggressive and demonic in his actions. And in place of Alice Monaghan, the girl that accompanies him throughout his journey, I'm sure they could easily replace her with Broom, having him act as the rock which keeps Hellboy with us and true to who he really is. He's a man, no matter what the demons or fairies say otherwise. Broom's probably going to accompany Hellboy on his journey and be the voice of Hellboy's human side, acting in direct contrast to what Nimue represents and how she embodies the destiny Hellboy wishes to refuse. It'd be a really great way to showcase the father-son relationship these two have, more so than anything that's come before, and I think that's really important for this franchise moving forward. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below, and be sure you stick with the Hybrid Network for all of our discussions and updates on Hellboy. This is Luke signing out.